In this video, we continue with Spring Security. From now on, we will extract the users from a database. Therefore, we will create a custom user detail service. Let's see in Eclipse how we do that. We start in the Maven POM file to insert additional dependencies. We are using the Maria database. If you want to use another database, you have to insert another dependency. We add three new dependencies. Spring Boot Starter Data JPA, Maria Database Java Client, and Lombok. Then we created two new entity classes, Users and Authorities. We create a many-to-many -many relationship between the two entity classes. Then we create a Users Repository with two additional methods, Find by Username, and Find All. The Entity Graph Annotations are there to let Hibernate create the optimal queries. One of the most important new classes is my User Details Service. This class implement User Details Service. We have one method load user by username here. This method makes the connection between Spring Security and the database. First we load the user from the database, then we check if the name is correct and then we convert the user from our database to a user details. If anything is incorrect, we return an error message of type username not found. In the security configuration class, not much has changed except that the password encoder has been changed to be crypt. The last file to discuss is the application properties. Here we specified our database settings. As mentioned before, we are using a Maria database. If you want to use a different database, you need to change these settings to your database. The home controller and the main class have not been changed. Now we can look at the database to see what tables and data have been created. Now we can look at the databases. We have three tables. Authorities. Users. And users authorities. These three tables were automatically created by Spring Data JPA when we first started our project. Then we ran the following queries to create the three users. Now we can start our project and look at the result in a browser window. The welcome page still works fine as in the previous parts of this series. To view the user page we have to log in. We do this with developer. This user has all authorities. We can view all pages with this user. Both the user page and the admin page work fine. So, that's it for today. Thank you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.